Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 27 of Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. And we're going to go ahead and head over to Mount Slide now, which is a very fun level, but it's also quite fast-paced, so forgive me if I try, kind of try and rush what I'm explaining here. It's also very fun, and it's kind of one of those levels that you have to play over and over again to get a definite strategy down. But I think I've played it enough now that I actually know a good strategy to get all the treasures as well as getting a gold medal. So, hopefully I can execute that here. I love this transformation though, this penguin snowboarding, this is so funny. It's so funny and it's actually pretty easy to control, which is really nice. Alright, there we go. Oh yeah, those mushrooms by the way, these ones that like shoot up. What you have to do, it's, it might be a bit confusing at first, is that after they've shot up, you have to actually jump off of them at their peak in order to get the boost, otherwise you'll just like fall right off. And these little, like, angel wing things, they give you a nice big jump like that. And they're going to be very useful later on this level. You're going to have to use them in precise coordinates in order to get everything. Alright. And I'm going to have a thousand bees before entering this cavern, but that's okay. It's not like there's any shortage of beads in this whole game, really. Normally in any level, they give you more than enough beads that you need to get gold. Just because, like, <laughs> I guess that's just another way to make it easier. Alright, there's our music disc. Awesome. Mount Slad. Sweet. Alright, that's the first treasure. I think that's the first treasure anyways. It should be. Alright, and here's the second one, just quickly after. Knit cap sofa. This knit cap sofa will tickle your head with warm fuzzies. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. How often do you hear something to describe just tickling your head? That's just weird. Alright, you gotta use this right here. Then use that right there in order to get the snowman. Sweet snowman. This snowman won't melt at room temperature. Go ahead, take him. <laughs> Thank you. I will take him. Holy crap. Alright, now you've got to get pretty fancy with your angel wing usage here. Just like this. And you can get this one too if you're good enough. And I think I screwed... Yeah, I screwed that up. Look at me missing all those beads. At least I got the star at the end. Oh well. Yeah, and I'm not sure where the last patch in this level is. I'd imagine it's somewhere below that whole area I was sailing over at the end. <laughs> of course I get the one little empty patch. Oh well, I have gold anyways. Oh! Oh man, it just tipped over right at the last second. Sweet! Gotta love that one. All hope has been lost, and then all of a sudden just something just goes, tips over the edge, and you're good. Oh, my cat just darted away at like the speed of light across the room. I think she saw, like, a bug or something, or, I don't know. Oh, you found the snowflake patch. Mm -hmm. It actually hasn't snowed very much at all yet. There's a new bee collecting stage. Very much at all yet. Which is kind of shocking, since normally we see snow in late October, and now it's, like, mid-November, and there's still pretty much nothing. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, pff, that poor little snowman is just getting torn to bits. Oh, well, what's this? Wow. <laughs> Gotta love that little wondrous sound effect. It's like, whoa! Frosty wheel. Yeah, I practiced the, this one a little bit too, but honestly, it's not that hard, so I didn't practice it too much. Because I didn't want to get too good, because it's so easy. But it does have a really neat little gimmick to it. Uh, and it's not necessarily the frosty wheel that's the gimmick, no. But. I mean, it seems all of these levels that later in the game have some kind of gimmick to them. Of course, they should. Or yeah, but the gimmick here is that normally when you double tap in one direction, you turn into a car. In this level, you turn into a bobsled. It's so funny. <laughs> uh, at first, I actually didn't know what it was, like I, because I'm not very familiar with bobsleds. But it looks like it looks like a chili pepper. It looks like Kirby's riding on a chili pepper or something. A really perverse-looking chili pepper, but it does have that distinctive shape. All right, and this music. I could just fall asleep to this music. I tell you. In fact, last night I actually did fall asleep to this music. I just put it on. I found a video on YouTube of this music, and I just I just set it on and went to sleep to it. It was absolutely great. Uh, no crap. You actually gotta get pretty far back from this pool here before you start bob sledding. Otherwise, you're just gonna ram right into the pool. Gotta get up here. The treasures in this one aren't too bad to find. Snow clock. This delicate clock plays a chiming melody that sounds like snow falling. <laughs> Oh, I've never personally heard snow falling, unless it's really hard, in which case that would suck. Uh, oh well. 
And I imagine even if, the, if snow falling did make a sound, it would not be a pleasant sound because snow falling just signifies, oh, it's winter now, it's gonna get cold. Better break out the parkas and get your polar bears ready to go. Here's the first instance of a frosty wheel, by the way. It's really nothing special, just one of these little scale wheel contraptions. <clears throat> I always thought this treasure was really lazy because it's, it's not hidden at all. It's just, uh, it never says stop snowing. It never stops snowing inside this globe. Can you see any little shovels in there? <laughs> no. Oh, man, that'd be cute. Already up to silver, not bad. Not too bad. Man, this music is even putting me, putting me to sleep like right now. Like if you're, like in the previous levels, in the previous snow levels, you've heard all this like theatrical Christmas music that makes you all hyped up and it's like jingle bells or something. But this one's just like it's more silent night oriented, I guess. Right? Oh crap! <laughs> oh, you stupid little thing! You silly little snowman! The snowmen are so cute, it's like they mean no harm, and you just kind of get in the way when they try to freeze you. Or when they just freeze. Right, ooh. Man, there's so many stars in all of these snow levels, it's so great. And the star, the stars are kind of actually sometimes hard to find in these snow levels, though, because everything's just white everywhere. And the stars themselves are, like, clear or white, so it's just... <laughs> I don't know, they do blend into the background pretty well. I might have missed a few in the previous levels, just going through, even even with my practice. Here's our last treasure, the Frosty Wheel music. Yep. Yeah, so now I don't even need to find a video on YouTube. I can just go in the game and play that Frosty Music tune. Or fo Frosty Wheel tune. And there you go. Oh, this part's fun. You gotta be kind of clever. To, you gotta be kind of quick on the fingers to get up here, but it can be done pretty easily. This is one of the best things about this bobsled, too, is that you can ride on top of the water. Oh, crap, I screwed that up. Oh, well. I already have gold, so... Like, how can you screw it up when you already have gold? Alright, yeah, I screwed that up, too. I actually kind of want to show what's up there, because there is, uh... You might be short on bees at this point, I don't know why. I guess if, if I guess if it's, like, your first time through the level, then... You might not might have not gotten as many bees as I have. So I kind of want to show as many places as I can where you can get beads. And this is a very good one to get beads up that ramp, if I can get up there <laughs> without falling in the water like a dummy. All right here we go. You get up there and up here, and whoop! And there's a star for you. It's a star. It's a star. All right. Oh, and this part gets really fancy because you get to do like these big jumps, like whoop! And here comes the biggest one, I think. Oh my God! Oh, I missed. I missed so many bees there. Oh well. Then just grab that and you're done. Uh, stick a fork him and he's done. <laughs> Leave the gun. Take the cannolis. Uh oh god. Oh, uh, what patch is that? It looks like a. <laughs> it really does look like a Silent Night patch. That'd be kind of ironic, but I don't think they would actually do that. Hmm. Man, why is my nose all runny? It's not even cold in here. It's like 20 degrees. You found the diamond dust patch. Oh, okay, so Kirby's in the sky with diamonds now. Oh, he came over to play. It's so fun. Mm, isn't that adorable? What's this going to do? Oh, is this going to unlock the boss? Holy crap. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Uh-oh. Oh, man. I, <laughs> that's a frightening little wind sound effect that they had there. Holy shit, Northern Lights! <laughs> it's like wool and Northern Lights. That's cool. And... The boss door opens up. Who is it? Who is it? Oh, no. Oh, no. You know what? You saw it here first. It's King DDD. Man, I, when I first saw that, King DDD's name pop up there, I was like, oh, my God, I get to fight King DDD? That's crazy, man. But, you know, what? we're not going to fight him right now because I honestly don't think we have enough time left in the video to fight him. But this is that really awkward stage in the video where it's like, t well, you could have a lot more time to go, but everything you have left to do will take more time than you have. But you can't leave it off this early, otherwise people are going to be like, what? So Why such a short video? So you have to do something. So I think I'm just going to see what this Beedrick stage is about. Because I haven't practiced this either. Man, it's not going to be much longer until I like start sucking again with all these levels. I've been pretty good up to this point. 3-star difficulty, 100 beads in 30 seconds? No problem. Yeah, I'm going to start sucking again. Because uh, as far as I've played up in this game is 
I've played the first level of The Last World, and The Last World is the one after the Snow World, by the way. At least as far as I can tell. And I've only played the first level of that world, and I plan not to play any more of them. I want to do the rest of it blind, pretty much. Am I really just chasing this star? Is this the gimmick? Oh my god, this is hilarious. <laughs> the star's just running away. It's like, can't catch me. It's the legendary Starfy. Get back here! Oh, I'm not done with you. Holy crap, I'm catching up. Slowly but surely. Oh man. <laughs> I'm just like a few fractions of a second faster than the star. I might get it here. Oh, what? No! Oh man. The time ran out just a few milliseconds before I grabbed that star. That sucks. All right, I guess I gotta be. I gotta do something different there in order to get that. Well, at least this is a really quick stage, so uh, it's not like I'm gonna have to wait like two minutes between every try or something. Like if I know I failed early on, then it's like, oh well. Well, I could just restart the stage, I guess. But whatever. I love all the backgrounds of these snowy worlds too. It's just a bunch of trees. All these ones are covered in like powdery snow. It's great. Why do I feel like there's something I can be doing right now to make me go faster? There's not, but... Come on, come on! I just want to get the star! Get the star! Uh, come on, come on, come on! Oh, shit! <laughs> and then it just flies away without me. Oh, How sad. <laughs> this is actually quite a bit harder than I thought it would be when I just saw that star. It's like, oh, well, should be able to catch up to it pretty easily, but no. No, it's not that simple. He's out in left field. Oh. All right, let's see here. All right, let's try and jump some of these areas in order just to maybe get a bit more speed. I don't know if this will save me any time whatsoever, but in previous experience with many games, jumping does save you time. Oh, 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 yes! Sweet. See? See, it did work. <laughs> I jumped that one gap and it saved me like five seconds. Not bad. 102 beads? What? How? Where did I get the extra two? Is a star worth 102 beads? <laughs> that would be kind of funny if it was just that, like, such a randomly accurate number. Thanks a lot, Kirby. That was really fun. I found this while we were out there. You go ahead and take this, Kirby. Because it's dangerous to go alone. That's a pretty fabric. The iceberg fabric. Cool. I really hope we get a chance to go bee collecting sometime soon. Well, I think that's going to have to be it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. So, um, next time we'll probably go fight King DDD because we don't have anything else to do. So, thanks everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.